the biggest thing that I am the most excited about is we called him out on this show. This is insane. You called it because you you brought him up. You got into. We're talking about Zach Morris, the, which not, is an alias, not the guy from Saved by the Bell, but yes. some guy on Twitter who pumps and dumps. Yeah, but you were arguing with him on Twitter, mm-hmm. and then you said to me, "I don't know if you said it on the show. You probably did, but you you said to me, I think he's nervous. I think he's in trouble, and the SEC is investigating him or something. Yeah, because he's acting very strange. Back in February, it looked yeah, like he goes by Mr. Zach Morris, a shameless." unrelenting pumper. I'm pretty sure that that would be, that would get you in trouble with the SEC. Yeah, so, oh, here's some tweets from him. I, in, on February 15th, 2022, I said, Zach Morris is too scared to even post his face or his name, so I doubt he'd have the stones to go on my show. Because uh, I invited him on. I said, come on to the show, bitch. And <laughs> uh, he didn't. I said, come on my podcast, bitch. Defend yourself. And then he blocked me, but then he unblocked me. And... Anyway, I was calling him out for being a pump and dumper, someone who bandies together with other nefarious individuals to buy up shares of cheap stocks and then promote those stocks. And then as their followers are buying the stocks, they dump their shares for for huge gains. So big, 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 big news. The SEC is coming after him and seven others for And it's similar to this, where it's the it's the DOJ and the SEC mm. parallel suits. Yeah, a hundred million dollar pump and dump scheme. Um, there was, uh, yeah, so scroll down, please. Let's see. They are, do, 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 yeah, they're filing charges against them. There's these eight guys. So the SEC named Morris, he's legally named Edward Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> together with please don't be greek please don't be greek perry matlock thomas cooperman gary deal mitchell hennessy aka hugh henny i remember that dipshit hugh henny i think hugh henny has a podcast called like yeah they do Penny, going going in raw going no. in raw yeah Penny's, oh no knight ran it <sighs> knight ran a podcast called pennies going in raw pennies going in raw fuck that shit trillionaire mindset bitch uh john Rybar Zick, a.k.a. Ultra Calls. Daniel Knight, a.k.a. Deity of Dips. <laughs> These, guys. These guys. Is also named a co-defendant as he, quote, aided and abetted the scheme through his podcast with Hugh Henney. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really fucking funny. Um, the According to the agency, the gang, as they would refer to themselves, earned approximately, approximately $100 million from this stock manipulation scheme. Oh, and... <laughs> Zach Morris, get the fuck out of here. Do not tell me that he actually tweeted that. Okay, okay. So, folks, this is a tweet that Mr. Zach Morris himself <clears throat> tweeted on. on <laughs> he tweeted on, uh, let's see, January, February, March. March 2nd. I needed to remember what month the third month was. Uh, he tweeted, someone, someone tweeted at him, the SEC is coming for, for Zach Morris. And he quote retweeted it saying, I've been hearing this for the last five years. One last time. SEC D's nuts. Oh, I thought he meant like sec D's nuts. Oh, maybe. Yeah. (laughs) Sec D's nuts. Sec D's nuts. Uh, well, they, they, they gotcha. They sure are sec D's nuts now. I'm just not sure if you're happy with all that teeth they're using. Um, yeah, boy. But they have they have quotes and stuff from their little Discord, and it's 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 pretty fucked. Oh yeah, is it from the one that I? No. Oh yeah, uh, that's funny. There's there's a link that I put in Zach. Um, oh, and he would taunt them. He would post SEC stuff like, "Oh, SEC's most wanted." Wait, um, listen. So at one point, Knight mocks an unnamed co-conspirator who frets about getting caught and says he wants to make buys the right way. And so he says, the fucking right way? We're robbing fucking idiots of their money. No fucking way. (laughs) Yep. Boasts Knight. In the same conversation, Cooperman describes the mechanics of how Rybarzik's pump stocks. Like, what what he does is he alerts it, and then like five minutes, this is how they're talking. Like, what he does is he alerts it, and then like five minutes later, all his little minions start like retweeting it and saying added with him so it like builds the hype back up it happens every single time they have this shit down to a fucking science it's great in another recording though night worries some other members of the right might of the right might be getting too brazen 
I'm playing this extremely smart for the very long time. If you don't think all these fuckers go to jail or at least get sued, you are crazy. Just wait and see. It's market manipulation. Wait, who said that? That one is... That sounded like someone was being smart. That was Knight. Yeah, it... it... That was Knight being like, you guys are getting too out of control with it. Ah, yeah. I'm trying to play this the right way. And you guys are getting too brazen. Yeah, that's that was always what was surprising to me is because it was obvious to anyone with a brain and just a modicum of critical thinking skills could see that what they were doing on Twitter was tantamount to pump and dumps, which is illegal. But what we're seeing with all of these things is that it's not, right? We have been doing this f- for a while now and we make fun of these things. And it's funny because these are things we've been talking about. And now we get to see them months later. Which is good. No, it is good, but it seems like it's not clear to anyone. It's not clear to that oh. many people at all. Yeah. It's clear that we're the outsiders being like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think a lot of people felt the same way that we felt. It's just that it's frustrating because it takes time to build a case. And I'm glad that the SEC waited. In, it, it, it sounded like they had moles inside their chat rooms and were... were like, if you click some highlights there, there's um, there was this one. I remember when this went down. Uh, there was this ticker symbol CEI. Um, if you click the the pictures, there are quotes here. Uh, so, oh, blah, 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 blah. It basically, this part documents how they they bought hundreds of thousands of shares. Go to the next one. They bought hundreds of thousands of shares of this CEI stock, and they <laughs> so like. Uh, you know, this guy bought uh, 936,000 shares. This guy had 835,000. Another guy had 405,000 at a price of 46 cents, 47 cents. And then they were starting to pump it on on Twitter. The poor, the poor guy who has to write up all their quotes and put oh, yeah. asterisks and everything, using an abbreviation for the slang term, cheap as fuck. Adding CEI with you, that's cheap AF, using an abbreviation for the slang term, cheap as fuck. (laughs) Within the next four minutes after those posts, they started selling shares, 165,000, 60,000. Cooperman sold 240,000 as the price rose by a penny per share. So they were just like, they were just picking up pennies, but still with that amount of, uh, with that amount of shares, they're making a killing. And then they're, they're all on Twitter just fucking pumping like crazy and it just details how immediately after the oh my posts, god within two minutes deal had sold ninety five thousand shares matlock had sold one hundred ninety eight thousand shares cooperman had sold all one hundred sixty five thousand of his remaining shares Jeez. yeah so continue there i think there's one uh, wait what did that can you zoom in on that what oh wait never mind never mind oh him saying cei pay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pay us. <laughs> let's be clear it's just it's insane and i think i remember Making, I, I think I remember tweeting it to one of them about it, but anyway. But so while they were promoting CEI on Twitter, they were simultaneously selling all their shares to their unsuspecting um, followers. It was just uh, terrible. Right. So they would buy into these shitty stocks. Yeah. And then once they bought it at a low price, they would tell all of their, all the people who follow them. Tens of I mean, thousands of followers. Is, would Zach Morris be the guy who has the most followers? He has yeah. about half a million followers. Yeah. Yeah, and so they would pump it out to everyone and go, "This is the fucking next one. I'm holding." Blah blah. Yeah. And then as soon as the stock would go up, they would make them. Yeah, money. even they wouldn't even hold for like, dude. If you're gonna be, yeah, said two minutes later. <laughs> yeah, like give it a second. <laughs> but then what they would do is they would tweet because there's a lot of instances where Zach Morris they have a lot of tweets where he's going, "No, nah, I hold all my shit. Yeah. I hold everything." I remember. Yeah. Oh, I actually lost a ton of money on this. Yeah, one. I still oh, believe in. Fuck, dude, I got burned on that one. Yeah, a big one that he was in, and I'm sure it's part of the complaint was Wish. He pumped the shit out of wish.com. I bet he that stuff. wishes. I bet he, he wishes he fucking did this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, then I think, yeah, well, that's it. That's it for that. But um, it feels good to know that there's justice in the world. Gary Gensler having a hell of a week. Yeah, Gary G, the head of the SEC, is doing some good by everybody. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It's It's one of those things where... Yeah, it, it, I'm just glad I'm not Sam Bankman Freed and I'm glad I'm not these guys because I'm sure that they were feeling untouchable for the longest time and now it's all. Uh, I am curious. Their about world is collapsing the, around them. The thing you brought up, if if for the past two years, SBF has just been pulling his hair out, like, oh my God, how am I going to get out of this? 